Hey guys, I want to talk today in this video about SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Now there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of um, gut problems and I'm talking about like bloating, burping, uh, excessive gas, diarrhea, constipation, and you just can't seem to figure out what in the world is going on with yourself. You go to your doctor and they tell you, well, you just have IBS. And that's usually what they'll tell you if they can't figure out exactly what's wrong with you, is that you just have IBS, so you're going to have to deal with it here. Take this proton pump inhibitor, or here, take this gas X, or, you know, cut out dairy, or all these other things that they may recommend you to do. Which, some of those things might be helpful, some of them might not be helpful, but the point of it is, is you're kind of left confused, like, what in the world? I didn't always have these gut problems. Why am I having all these gut problems now? What is going on? You know, people can develop serious problems with their stomach. In my case, it happened because I took a round of antibiotics for like a whole month. And they were strong antibiotics. Real strong. Because I had an infected wisdom tooth that I had to have extracted. Now, it doesn't mean that somebody that takes antibiotics is always going to get something bad um, to happen to them, but it could happen to you like it happened to me. So basically, guys, if you go to your doctor and you explain to them that you have all these gut problems and they tell you, well, you just have IBS because they can't figure out what's wrong with you, go and get a SIBO breath test, okay? Go and get a hydrogen breath test. Um, tell your doctor that you want one. They'll set up an appointment for you and you'll go get a breath test. And you will either be diagnosed with having SIBO or you will not. If you are diagnosed with having SIBO, the standard treatment is for them to put you on an antibiotic called Rifaximin, which is going to be another round of antibiotics to try to wipe out all of this excessive bacteria that is in your small intestine, which should not be there. Okay, Primarily, there shouldn't be a lot of bacteria in the small intestine. It should be primarily in the large intestine. But if you get all this excessive bacteria in your small intestine, when you eat food, then that those bacteria eat that those carbohydrates, those sugars, and then they ferment it, create gas, and it creates all of these symptoms that I was talking about earlier in the video. So what you want to do, guys, and seriously, because this is something that I've been struggling with now for you know a couple of years at least, I think it's been now since I got sick, you really, really, honestly, you have to stick to a low carbohydrate diet. Um, you know, the specific carbohydrate diet, uh, the SIBO specific um, diet by Seebecker, uh, Allison Seebecker, is fantastic. They're, or a low FODMAP diet, and basically a combination of all of them. You gotta follow this because if you don't and you continue to eat those foods, it's just going to create more gas and you're going to keep having symptoms and you're going to have pain. So, you know, for a lot of folks, like for me, I don't know if I'll ever be cured of having of, of SIBO, but that's not the point. The point is, is that when you have these symptoms, you have to learn to manage them. Managing that is what it's all about. It's about, you know, being able to still live a happy, healthy life without constantly being bloated, without constantly feeling, you know, sick and in pain. And so by following the special diet, okay, and the special diet is really just a healthy diet to begin with. It's like a paleo diet. You're eating mostly, you know, meats and eggs and fish with some low starchy vegetables, fruits and different foods that you can tolerate because everybody's going to be different, okay? This is also the other thing. Everybody's going to be different in how they tolerate all this stuff. So you got to figure out, you know, over time, you'll figure it out about what works for you. Um, so I guess that's all I can tell you guys is you're going to have to figure out, you know, which foods are acceptable for you, which foods are not. And then along with following this lower carbohydrate diet, which will, which will give you quite a bit of relief, okay? You're not going to constantly be going um, diarrhea and having constipation and 
you know, bloating with everything you eat because you're not going to be feeding the bacteria to create the gas. But once you're on this diet, okay, once you're getting a lot of these symptoms under control, you blast it with some herbal <clears throat> antimicrobials like um, oregano oil, berberine, and then there's special formulas also that you can buy, um, like candid, candida, bactin, AR, and BR, which is great. Uh, it was also used in a study showing that it had a very effective rate at uh, ridding SIBO. So taking the herbs, taking like a prokinetic, like modal pro or iberogast, or even eating some ginger, making a tea out of fresh ginger, is great to keep your digestive system functioning and also keep you from relapsing. These are things that you're going to have to use to maintain um, normal and healthy gut health. So, you know, I know it's difficult, and believe me, I have gone through so much pain and bloating and gas. It's it's a very it takes its toll on you mentally. Okay. It makes you feel like, man, I'm never going to get better. But you can't think that way. you got to think positive. you got to think about how, you know, what you're doing um, is helping you every bit of the way. You're feeling a little bit better every single time, every single day, all right? And think about how good you feel compared to when you weren't doing all of these positive things. And that should keep you motivated to continue on. So bottom line guy here, bottom line here in this video is I just want to give you, all of you guys a lot of encouragement and hope that even if you can't completely cure yourself of SIBO, okay, that you can still live a happy, pain-free life as long as you, you know, follow this, follow the diet, take your herbs, think positive. And always continue to have a learning mindset and, and stay positive. And you will feel great. You will still be happy. And you can still live a normal life. So guys, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comment section. And I'll try to figure out you know, what I can do to help. So with that, take care.